What's up guys, it's Darkrone and Duelist, and today we're doing a Skull Servant deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this one for you guys because this deck is actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Mimi. And this deck is an extremely fun deck to play to somehow King of the Skull Servant and OTK your opponent. Especially with all the spicy tech cards I've included in this build for you guys. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notice so and come part of the notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Again, your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request the deck profile every single month to your Patreon. And definitely give me some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into this one, guys. So first off, we're playing three copies of the original Skull Servant. This card is an awesome combo piece in the deck, especially with your copy of White Prince. To be able to get it into the graveyard to make your copy of King of the Skull Servant, absolutely massive. We then play three copies of King of the Skull Servant. This card is our main boss monster and super easy to get to in this build. This card is awesome because the original attack of this card becomes the combined number of King of the Skull Servant and Skull Servants in your graveyard times a thousand. And the majority of the monsters in this deck actually count as Skull Servant when they're in the graveyard. So this card is going to get absolutely massive to be able to OTK your opponent. This card is amazing as a boss monster and it's just really cool to be able to play this card. We then play three copies of White Prince. White Prince is really good as a three of as well, as this card helps you fill up the graveyard with a bunch of different Skull Servant monsters with the ability, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send a Skull Servant and Lady in Right from your hand or deck to the graveyard, which is a great ability to help you get two Skull Servant names in the graveyard, plus this card, so your copy of King of the Skull Servant will come out at 3,000 attack points just with those three monsters in the graveyard. This card also has the ability to you can banish two Skull Servants and this card from from your graveyard to special in a King of the Skull Servant from your deck, which is amazing W instantly gets your copy of King of the Skull Servant off this card's effect. We can play three copies of the Lady in White. This card is definitely a three of as well in the build. It's a little bit of a brick in the hand, but it's still great to be able to play because your copy of White Prince, because you want to be able to fill up your graveyard with as many Skull Servants as possible. And in this deck, we have some really spicy tech cards to be able to get them into the graveyard. But this card is a really good three of in the deck to be able to use your copy of White Prince to be able to get it into the graveyard because it does count as Skull Servant when in the graveyard. We then play three copies of White Lord. White Lord is absolutely crazy. This card helps you fill up your graveyard insanely fast with the ability that this card's name becomes Skull Servant while it's in the graveyard. And you can only use the effects of this card once per turn. That if you have a Skull Servant or King of the Skull Servant in the graveyard, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and then send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard up to the number of Skull Servant and King of the Skull Servant in the graveyard, which is such a powerful effect to help you mill so many different cards out of your deck to fill up the graveyard. You can also banish this card in the graveyard and then target a Skull Servant or King of the Skull Servant in the graveyard and just instantly special summon it. This card is one of the most powerful support cards we've ever gotten for the deck, helping you mill a bunch of cards to the graveyard while also helping you bring back your copy of King of the Skull Servant from the grave, which is absolutely amazing. You then play three copies of White Baking. White Baking is really good as th three of as well, with the ability this card's name becomes Skull Servant while it's in the graveyard. And if you have a level three or lower zombie monster that you control would be destroyed by battle by card effect, you can discard this card instead, which is going to help you protect your copy of King of the Skull Servant. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add two monsters with different names from your deck to your hand, except for the copy of this card that are either Skull Servant or specific list Skull Servant in their text, and then discard a card, which is an amazing effects to be able to grab cards from your deck to your hand like King of the Skull Servant and your copy of White Prince then send White Prince to Graveyard to help you fill up the graveyard which is just really nice to be able to do. This card is great as a 3 in the build and such a powerful card to help you fill up the graveyard with your Skull Servant so you can OTK. We then play two copies of White Princess. White Princess is basically a walking Armageddon Knight for the deck or basically a walking Foolish Burial. If this card is normal or special summon you can send a White Prince from your deck to the graveyard which is a really cool effect to help you get your cards in the grave so you can mill a bunch of cards to the graveyard so we can start OTKing the opponent. And then play just a single copy of White Mare. White Mare is really good in the deck, but you only need a single copy of this card. This card is great to help you recover your cards that are banished and it's overall just a fantastic card, but it's just a good one of in the deck. 
We then play two copies of Mizuki. Mizuki's really good in this build because we have some awesome ways to be able to mill a bunch of cards to the graveyard. So this card helps us just banish it from the grave to be able to bring back our copy of King of the Skull Servant back to our side of the field so we can OTK. We then play three copies of M. Seti. The Horus engine in this deck is absolutely amazing. This card helps you get to your copy of King Sarcophagus by sending itself and another card from your hand to the graveyard. Then you can also draw a card and add a copy of King Sarcophagus from your deck to your hand, which is just an amazing ability, especially when you send something to the graveyard like a copy of White Prince or White Baking, so you can get their effects to go off, which is just absolutely amazing. The Horus package is really good in this deck and just works really well to help you get to the exact cards that you need, also helping you fill up the graveyard and make cards like the zombie vampire so you can mill a bunch of cards to the graveyard and fill up the grave with the different skull servants so you can otk we then also play a single copy of Happy. Happy is just really good in the deck as one of you only need the two Horus names in the deck as you're basically just trying to make the zombie vampire to fill up the graveyard with a bunch of different skull servants and be able to bring them back with cards like Mizuki which is really really nice. So that's it for the monsters guys. Let's get in to the spells. So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial is amazing in the deck as a one-up to help you get the exact cards you need in the graveyard. We then play a single copy of One for One. Our main boss monster is a level one, and this card also helps us fill up the graveyard with Skull Servant monsters. And this card is really good to help you bring out your copy of King of the Skull Servant directly from the deck, while also getting an additional name in the graveyard, so it comes out absolutely massive. We then play a single copy of Card Destruction. Card Destruction is really good in the deck as a one-up to help you discard your entire hand to get a bunch of Skull Servants in the graveyard so you can summon out your copy of King of the Skull Servant and make it absolutely massive. Plus, this can really mess up your opponent's strategies unless you're playing against Dark World, which is just a bad time when you activate this card. We then play two copies of King Sarcophagus. King Sarcophagus is definitely a two-of in the build because this card helps out so much in the deck to help you get your copy of Inseti and your copy of Happy into the graveyard and also helps you get your cards in the graveyard like your Skull Servants by sending them to the graveyard so you can send Happy and Inseti to the graveyard so that you can bring them back back to your side of the field, make the zombie vampire, and mill four off the top of each player's deck, so we can get a bunch of cards in the graveyard. We then play two copies of Burial from a Different Dimension. Burial from a Different Dimension is really good to be able to use in the deck to basically recover our banished Skull Servants and put them back into the graveyard so that we can make our copy of King of the Skull Servant massive and go in for game. We then play three copies of Allure of Darkness. Allure of Darkness is definitely a three of in the build. Just help us dig into the deck for the exact card that we need. We then also play three copies of Forbidden Droplets. Droplets is amazing in this deck to basically just turn your opponent's field off and help you go in for game because this card helps you get a bunch of your different skull servants into the graveyard also halving the attack points of your opponent's monster making it a great staple for this deck to help you otk and also turn your opponent's field off so that we can swing in for game so that's it for the main deck guys let's get in to the extra deck So for the extra deck guys, we're going to be focusing on a lot of rank 8s in the extra deck because the horse engine is just absolutely amazing in this build. So we're going to start off with one of the best rank 8s you can make in the deck, which is the Zombie Vampire. Zombie Vampire is really good in this build as this card lets you mill the top 4 cards of your deck and your opponent's deck to the graveyard. And then once you do, you can special summon a monster among those 8 cards back to the field, which is a really cool effect to help you get the exact card you want on the field, especially if you mill a copy of King of the Skull Servant. We then play a single copy of Galaxy Photon Lord. This card is great if you're going to be going first to give you a negate on the field, which is just really nice. One copy of Garunix Eternity. This card is basically Walking Dark Hole, and it's just really good in the deck overall to be able to just board wipe the opponent. Normal summon out a copy is King of the Skull Sermon and go in for game. We then play a single copy of number 97. Number 97 is great till we make either a copy of number 38 or a copy of number 100 to make a copy of number 100 come out at 9 thousand attack points to be able to swing in for game this is really good to be able to play in that because just with your copy of m seti and happy you can make a copy of number 100 extremely easily but just making copy of number 97 summoning out your copy of number 100 and attaching number 38 directly from your extract to it 
You can play a single copy of Typhon. Typhon just belongs in any single deck that plays any kind of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because it's so easy to make and it's just really good to be able to play in any build. You can play a single copy of Zeus. Zeus is also amazing to be able to play in any deck that plays Xyz because it helps you board wide at the field. Especially in this deck that we can just normal summon a monster. They can go all the way up to like 8,000 attack points on normal summon and swing in for game. So this card is really good in the deck overall. We then play a single copy of Axis Code. Axis Code's really good to be able to make in this deck to be able to pop multiple cards on the field and help you go in for game. Plus it comes out absolutely massive. One copy of Nightmare Unicorn. Nightmare Unicorn is definitely a one of in the deck to help you go in and just spin cards off the field. We have a single copy of IP Mascarena. IP is really good to help you go over your copy of Nightmare Unicorn during the opponent's turn. One copy of Pentastag. Pentastag is great in the deck as one of to help you do basically piercing damage with a monster that points to. One copy of SP Little Knight. SP Little Knight is great in the deck, but you can change that for Nightmare Phoenix if you want to, but it is a great option to be able to play in this deck if you do have one. Again, if you don't have one, you can change it out for Nightmare Phoenix, but it's really good to be able to play in this build. With the last single copy of Link Spider, we are playing three vanillas in this deck in the form of the original Skull Servant. So if you open up two copies of Skull Servant, you can normal summon one out to your side of the field, make a copy of Link Spider, and once you do, you can special summon out the other one with the effect of Link Spider, link it away for a copy of Relinquished Anima, and once you do that, you can link both of these away for SP Little Knight or Pentastag if you want to, which is another option. Option. So that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoy it. This deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played a Skull Servant deck before, you should definitely give this deck a try because it's super fun to be able to play and it's really easy to be able to OTK your opponent. Definitely try it with the Horus engine because it's really amazing to be able to just play those Horus cards, help you get a bunch of cards in the graveyard, make the zombie vampire, and mill a bunch of cards to the graveyard, making your copy of King of the Skull Servant absolutely massive. So that's going to do for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can come part of Notification Squad and definitely check out the Patreon on the description below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.